Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, I just want to say hello. It's my birthday today. Woohoo! I'm so happy. But yeah, I've got nobody to talk to. Um, I've pretty much I sent the kids to school this morning, and I've been on my lonesome then all day, which is really really sad. But of course, Brian's in work, and the kids are in school, so. Um, yeah, so I thought I'd pop on and just say hello to everybody and share with you some beautiful birthday mail that I've received off the lovely Steffi, who is Effie on Cards here on YouTube. I will link her channel down below. She is awesome. Um, she sent me some beautiful things and I want to share them with you. <coughs> Sorry, I got a frog in my throat. Um, so yeah, so just thought I'd pop on and say hello everybody. Um, hope you're all doing well. It's really gone quite sunny up here today, so I'm just getting on with some washing and some cleaning. It's not a very exciting day, apart from getting mail. Um, yeah, so I'm enjoying. And yeah, I'm just going to jump straight in, okay? Um, now, yeah, what have I got? Right, I've put it all on the side here. Again, it's been so long since I've done a video that I, you, you kind of forget what to say. So yeah, I'm going to start with the card first, okay? And I didn't bring it in. Um, my card, okay, so here you are, it opens like this, and it says Snow White, the fairest one of all, and it's um, the Snow White paper from, I think it's Create and Craft Kit, because it's the one I've got, um, and she's got peel-offs here, funny enough, me and Jude were just talking about peel-offs, um, some gold glittery ones here across here, and she's used the red and the pink card, because those are the colours in the kit. And then it opens up like this. It's like a pop-up card. It's really cool. So it says to Amy, happy birthday. Hope you have a fab day. Love from Steffi. It's your day. And that's a die cut there. And then this bit here, I, I don't know if you can see that, but it's like popped up. Like a, like a little bit like a shadow box, but not, if you know what I mean. And then in the middle then is like one of the cut parts that says the first princess. And it's Snow White. And it's really, really cute. I really like Snow White. She's cool. She's like the first princess, isn't she? She's like the first one out, I think, isn't she? Is she? I'm sure she is. Um, but yeah, she's so pretty, isn't she? So that is my lovely card. And then on the back, um, I want to show you because she's got this. What's on the back of them? Oh, what do I see that on the back of? Oh, hang on, something else she made me. Sorry, that was on the back of that. She's got her own like stamp. Um. Or sticker, I, I, I'll have a look now, I'll show you. But yeah, it's a beautiful card. So that is my card. And it does stand up, like when you push it, I mean, if you make it, it will stand up. But obviously it's a little bit top heavy. So I'd have to like lean it against something. So if I lean it against my trolley there. There we are, see that's standing there. It's not leaned against, leaned against anything. Okay, um, so... Um, she popped in she popped in some things for the kids as well, which is really lovely of her. She didn't have to do that, but she wanted to. Um, she had a watercolour, um, I think it was Cinderella or Princess's um, kits for the girls, for Lissia and Emily. And then um, she had a Buzz Lightyear uh, stationary colour and setting for Jack. Um, so yeah, so they were in there as well. I've left them to the side so the kids can um, see them when they come in from school. Um, she also was... Um, Steffi's been decluttering her craft. Well, she's been moving craft rooms, so she's come a lot of thing, come across a lot of things. And she said, "Did I have a small die cutting machine?" And I said, "No, I didn't have one." Um, because well, there was an offer on, I think, on Creating Craft where everybody got frozen ones, and I never managed to get in in time. Um, because I've got the Big Shop Plus, which is great, but it's it's just humongous. It's so heavy. It's very difficult to use. It's not very difficult to use, but it's just a pain then if I need to die cut something that's really small. Um, so yeah, so she had um in her stash one of these Sizzix sidekicks, and it's like super duper tiny, but it's great for all those small. And like I say, you could just keep it on your desk. I don't have to keep walking around my big shot all the time. Um, because it doesn't fit some of the dies that I've got, but all my flowers and things like that, it'll fit. And then you kind of stick it to the desk, and then that, sorry, I'm moving the camera now, but that does not move. It's stuck to my desk, which is awesome. Um, because you do find, like, when you're doing the with the big shot and you're winding it up, it does rock back and forth. Um, and in with the uh, parcels that she sent me, she wrapped these up. So these are the cutting plates that go inside 
the sidekick so um yeah so she gifted me some of these as well which is lovely of her and i meant to bring in the wrapping paper that she wrapped it in but i've i haven't i've left it out in the dining room table it was all wrapped everything was wrapped in harry potter paper which was fab oh my god my favorite um yeah gorgeous wrapping paper and she wrapped it all in but i didn't want to do that all on video because again it takes time so you know i like my videos to be as quick as possible i don't want you all to get like fed up at the end um so yeah so i had that that was wrapped that wasn't wrapped but I, she did mention she was sending me that so that wasn't a surprise then but yeah that is a, well it is cool though because um like i say i can just keep it on my desk now right i'm gonna go a little bit quicker because obviously i'm gonna run out of time otherwise then she got me this Harry Potter book. Oh my God, it is lush. It's purple. You can't really see it in the camera. Well, you can there. It's got the Hogwarts symbol. And then inside, it's got the Marauders map. And then, like, paint, line pages. Um, but inside, it's got these um, magne magnets. And they actually stick to the front of the book. So I can choose to be who I want to be for the day. So if I want to be in Gryffindor, I can be in Gryffindor. If I want to be in Slytherin and I'm feeling a bit naughty, I can be in Slytherin. Um, so yeah, so these come with a notebook, which I thought was fab. But this is really hefty. It's lush. I'm not sure I'll be able to write in it just yet. Um, I might have to find like a really good thing to write in with it. Um, so yeah, so that is um, one else. She also put in, because it's being very naughty, uh orange um uh what are they called Terry chocolate orange minis and the chocolate orange bars um which are lush i love them but i might point and see how many a bar is because that probably it would be a lot but i mean it's you know i could have it as a treat maybe on the weekend or something um but i'll probably give them to the kids and just keep maybe one bar rather than temptation and eating the whole thing so thank you very much Steffi she knows I love chocolate orange that's where she put them in <laughs> so yes they are fab and then we had some lovely snow white um nail files which is great because I am trying to grow my nails and I've been looking for nail files so I've got sleepy dopey sneezy grumpy dark happy and bashful so they're fab too so they're snow white just pop them to that side then she gifted me this gorgeous stationery box oh my god it's lush um it's got mickey and minnie it's got like a washi tape it's got cute little paper clips binder clips posted rubber pencils and a sharpener and it's in this fab case so yeah that's lovely because i love stationery you all know that i love stationery steffi knows that i love stationery um so yeah so that's fab too so thank you very much for that steph um and then we have this magnetic to-do list which again is a um, mini one which is great or oh, mini and mickey actually because i do need one of these on my desk you know what? i was trying to i know somebody sent me i think it was a harry potter one but you know what since i've moved around so much i can't find where i put it so yeah i could do with one of these and put it on my desk so i think that yes yeah, a magnetic one so that'd be cool so that's that and then these look how beautiful these are sorry about the glare i hope you can't see my reflection in them but it's a two-pack mug set and it's um snow white here like the sort of cartoony version and then the snow white here which is like black red and white and they are stunning i don't particularly want to get them out because i don't want to break them um but yeah, they Walt celebrating Walt Disney's first animated film from 1936. See, it is the first film, 1937. Oh my god! Oh, there, look on the back, it says better. Right, so on the back, it's got uh, mirror, mirror on the wall on the first one, mirror, mirror on the wall, and who's the fairest of them all on that one? So they are lush. So I will open them up later. I love cups. You can't get enough mugs, can you? I like I love a mug. Honestly, I do. It's gorgeous. And she made me a lovely mini album. So I'm gonna move this stuff out of the way because I want to share it with you. Um so obviously Steffi's back at work now. She works really, really hard. She does, honestly, she does some fair hours. 
Um, so I said not to worry about making me anything or sending me anything, even a card would have been okay. Um, but she doesn't listen, so she's been making this. Um, and it's absolutely stunning. Look, it's gorgeous. So it's using um like a really bright red cardstock, and it's a cute little mini album. It's like I would say it's probably about six by four, something like that, maybe smaller. Um, and it's it's in the Snow White theme. Do you know what? I was looking at my Snow White papers the other day thinking, oh, I really need to make something with my... Because I've got quite a few. I've got 101 Dalmatians, Snow White, Disney Villains, Alice in Wonderland. I've got quite a few, so I could do something like this. Um, And then you open it up, and it's this really cute little mini album. And she messaged me earlier to say that what she'd made, she'd left things blank so that I could add my st myself stuff. Um, So this first page here is like a flip open. And she's got like the different characters of dwarves. And she's used the cutouts from the collection. Like the toppers. And then each page has like a pullout. Which is this gorgeous colour blue. Which goes really, really well with that blue. And she's done like the tear and tear sort of... I don't know whether that's a punch. I don't know. Um, and they go in the pocket on the side. Which is extra room. And then the first page then it says dark, sleepy, happy. So it's another like accordion fold. Then on this page here, then you've got two flips, that side and that side. So again, she's left everything blank so I can put whatever I want to on there. I'll probably put pictures of the girls, to be honest. Um, and then we've got the Wicked Queen on this one. And these go up and down. And you've got her as the old evil witch there. So it goes up and down. Now I knew now I know why she said she needed magnets because she said she was making something and she couldn't find her magnets. Um there's snow white on that one. And this is such a gorgeous colour red. And then in this little pocket here, she's got three pockets, and in this one are some gorgeous stamps. Now you might not be able to see them on camera because I I had a job to see them with my own eyeballs. Um that was his place photo here. This one is like, I'm not sure whether you're going to be able to see it, but it's Santa's sleigh it is. It's like a postage stamp. And that one's the same. It's like got December 25th on it. Um, so yeah, so they're like seals, which is really, really cool. I like that. So I, I can use them for Christmas. This one then is, is another little stamp set. And it says, those moments you can't put into words, replace with a photo. I think that's such a lovely sentiment, isn't it? So, yeah, so that's the other stamp that's in here. And then she has put my name on this envelope. And inside is one of those little collectible cards. and says, who is the fairest one of all? And then it says, to Amy Love from Steffi. So, I'll pop that up on my shelf. So, yeah, that is gorgeous. So lovely. She's so talented, honestly. I will link her channel down below because you have to go and check her out. You probably already subscribed to her anyway. But she is awesome. Um, okay, and then we've got the dwarfs on this side then, and it's another up-down one. But this time, we've got like a waterfall, and I love her waterfalls. She makes like the best waterfalls ever. I can never get mine to line straight. So these are all blank, like I say, so I've got quite a lot of room there to fit photos. And then on the back page here, then, you've got another flip with Disney and... Uh, Disney. Snow White and Dopey. And this one is like a little mini booklet. And in the back then, she's gifted me some of the toppers from the collection. And you've got all different ones there. It's, it is a really, really pretty collection. It is really, really pretty. I think I might make some cards out of mine. I don't know. So, yeah. So, I wanted to share that with you because that is beautiful. And like I say, she didn't have to send any of this in. And she did. And she, made, she spent the time to make it. And I'm really, really appreciative of that. Um, she's an awesome person. She's really, really lovely really down to earth um and yeah it probably wouldn't be on youtube if it wasn't for steffi anyway so yeah i can't thank you enough steffi so thank you so so much <clears throat> i have got a terrible frog in my throat today um so yeah so these are the lovely gorgeous gifts i've had off um steffi and so yes i'm so excited so i'm gonna try and put these away i'm trying to be very good this year when people are gifting me things, I'm trying to put them 
away, not away away, but you know what I mean, like in different places so that I can see them, but that they're organized as well. Because last year, I think I think I had everything in a pile. Um, so yeah, so I've just landed with that and that, this is going to come in so handy. Obviously, it is one of my bugbears. This is why I hate die cutting, I think, because I have to, like, I know, you probably can't see, but I can move this up. See, my big shot is, I don't think you're going to be able to see it, but it's, it's there, like in, where's my finger? There, that's my big shot there. I'm sharing the playroom with my kids, so that's why you can see loads of toys and stuff. Um, on the camera. Anyway, uh, yeah, so that's my big shot. So like I say, if I've got to do anything, I've got to go all the way around there, and it's really, really annoying. And it puts me off die-cutting stuff because it is such a pain. But this is going to be awesome because, like I say, I want to make more of my flowers, and I really, really enjoy cutting out flowers. Well, I did, anyway. Um, and I've got like my, my stash of flowers and stamens and the, the petals and everything here. And I've been gift well, I've, I haven't been gifted, but Laura has sent me like a load of flower dyes as well. And I've got some that I had for Christmas time as well. So they will all fit lovely in there. So I'm really, really, I really can't thank her enough for that one. I was landed when she said about it. Um, but yeah, everything is gorgeous. I'm so happy. Thank you very much. I love everything. Um, so yes, yeah, so I'm going to love you and leave you now because I'm going to run out of time otherwise. Um, so I again, I'll link Steffi's channel down below. And um, please head, head on over to her if you haven't already. She hasn't put anything up for a while. But like I say, she is back at work now after COVID and having such a long time off. Um, she is back at work now. So she is working really, really hard. Love her. I, I say she does because she's always in work. Honestly, she she she's always in work. <laughs> she's I, I I dread to think the hours that she does. Um so yeah, so thank you, Steffi. I really appreciate it. So I hope you all have a lovely afternoon and hopefully I shall be back with you sometime this week. I am going away Friday, so I'm not sure. But I, I have got some little things in mind that I want to discuss with you. So I don't know, maybe like a little series or something coming up. But yeah, so hopefully I'll speak to you all soon. Thank you very much for joining me. Bye.